Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a video on the Canon PIXMATR4522 printer Wi-Fi setup without a unboxing or review. Okay, to start the Wi-Fi setup, let's go over to my laptop computer and open up an internet browser. And on the URL address line up top here, I will be typing in ij.start.canon. Actually, I did a cut and paste, but you get the idea. And then once you do that, you get the welcome page from Canon. And this is the setup. And if you want to, you can change the default language. I'm going to leave it on English and click on setup. And once you do, you get to select a product name. And I'm going to go ahead and type in TR4522 and then go ahead and click on the go button here and that will take me to the next page where it says the TR4522 setup and all you have to do on this page is simply click on the start button and once you do it says one preparing the printer and you know there's lots of videos here that you can watch on the Canon website um, if you choose to, um, but I'm not going to do that. You can if you want. I'm going to just go ahead and skip those and click on connect and continue showing you how to set this printer up in my video. So we are on number two, connecting to a computer. And all you need to do here is simply click on the download button and run the software to start set up on your computer and the first thing we get in Firefox is do I want to save this file yes I do so I'm gonna click on save and then on the download um, arrow button up top here I'm gonna click on that and when I do I can see that the file has completed in downloading to my computer it doesn't take long I'll click once on that and that uh, starts up the start setup um, program on my laptop computer so I can go ahead and shrink this browser because I don't need it open any longer and that way the screen isn't as busy all right I'm gonna go ahead and click on start setup and then the next screen before you continue this software may use uh, the network to set up the printer and I'm fine with that so I'm gonna just go ahead and click on next then I get acquiring information on the latest driver and software downloading. Now keep in mind, I've speed this up uh, quite a little bit um, via my video editing software. This can take a couple of seconds to a good couple of minutes to download. And once it's completed acquiring the information, it'll go ahead and go to this next page which is the license agreement and then go ahead and click on yes now keep in mind if you say no the software doesn't get installed so you always have to say yes and that's the same with this next page you do want to agree with this because you want to install the drivers and the necessary software to print to your printer then you get this next screen checking the printer status and it's trying to determine um, you know if it can talk to the printer or not and this will take a few seconds and then I get select connection method and by default it is a uh, selected as Wi-Fi connection of course if you wanted to use it as a USB connection you could but in this video and as I'm going to be using it and hopefully you as well um, you're going to use it as a Wi-Fi connection so go ahead and click on next and then it tells me check power on the printer make sure the printer is powered on so I'm going to go over to my printer and make sure the green light is powered on and yes it is so all is good and I'm back on my Windows desktop I've checked and I'm going to go ahead and click on next easy wireless connection and then it says check the connection method connect the printer to the following wireless router 
using a wireless connection and I do want to go ahead and connect it to my wireless router SkySat so this is good it works for me and it's the right printer because it's the only TR4500 series printer that I have on my network I'll click on yes setting up network connection is temporary disabled and yes if I go down here in the right hand corner on my taskbar the Wi-Fi has been you know disabled and then this popped up SkySat password I went ahead and typed that in and it's now setting up and again the Wi-Fi is temporarily disabled and that holds true and then it says connection completed and the Wi-Fi um, is also uh, re-enabled down on the taskbar. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Next since I got a green check mark. Now it's installing the MP drivers for the printer. And it says that it can take up to about two minutes until it's completed. And you know, it depends a lot on the speed and performance of your computer and your internet speed as well. And then you get processing. Please wait momentarily. Then we get this next prompt which allows us to send a test print to our printer to make sure it's working okay. And you know, before we do this, I just want to point out that during the MP driver installation, it did create a Canon U scan utility shortcut on our Windows desktop for us for easy access to the Canon utilities. All right, let's go ahead and click on start and uh, send a test print over to our printer and see how that works. Okay, for a inkjet printer, this is printing out a test print relatively fast actually. And the printout looks crisp and clear to me. So I think it did a good job for a small budget inkjet printer. Okay, let's go back over to my Windows desktop here. And I can go ahead and click on Next. And I get the last prompt or window. And it says uh, Setup Complete. You can now print from your printer. Next, software will be installed. Okay, now keep in mind, I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. But keep in mind that um, the following software is optional. You don't have to install any of this software if you choose not to. And in my case, I'm choosing not to install any of it. But um, again, if you want to install it, you're welcome to do that. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and uncheck everything and then click on Next. Then Canon gives me two windows of some additional information. You can print from a smartphone or tablet. Click on the instructions button to learn more. I'm going to just click on next here and then join our programs. Register now. I'm going to skip on this one as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on exit. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like. And remember to share.